talk about cloud computing and what I think of it. I think cloud computing is great. Uh, I know that I've read things where people think cloud computing is the end of open source and I don't even see how that's even relevant. Um, I think cloud computing uh, is the way things should be for things that are practical for cloud computing. And I think that uh, when done properly, uh, meaning two things, uh, one, the software is open source, and two, you're in control of your data, I think that cloud computing, once again, is a great thing. Um, that's one of the reasons why I've been hitting so hard on things like HTML and JavaScript uh, and, um, and CSS, because using these as a front end and whatever language you want as a server side uh, application, and if you're running your own server, it just makes sense. Uh, you can set up your own little web server for under $25. Uh, I have a Pogo plug running Debian Linux in the next room uh, that uh, I paid $15 to $20 plus shipping for, and uh, I can have as much storage as I want off it, and it's running Debian, so I can run wherever I want off of it. Uh, and there are a lot of open source cloud tools. I don't really use any of them on that, but I do have Apache running on it and an SSH server. Um, and it's just great to be able to access all my information uh, from my phone, laptop, desktop, right in my house. It's also easier to back things up because it's all on one location. I don't have to back up my laptop, my phone, my, my desktop, my tablet, my other tablet, uh, because all my data is stored on that server and I periodically back that up. Um, also cloud computing makes it very easy to port software from one device to another. Um, Importing software, as if you're watching my series on cross-platform development, it's really, really simple. Uh, most languages are cross-platform. Python, uh, Perl, Java, uh, C, C++. Um, hard part is GUI interfaces. It's real easy to make a, a command line program that runs on everything, um, but different environments use different uh, window managers and uh, and displays like whether it's xorg or or uh, Wayland uh, or whatever you know you would call the Microsoft One Explorer I guess whatever it is Apple uses uh, to uh, Android running a, a Java interface um, it's harder to do GUI applications although there are tools like Qt pretty much runs on all those things uh, or I say QT, I think it's pronounced cute. Anyway, um, it's a lot easier just to do, use HTML because everything, ha uh, every modern operating system has a modern browser. I mean, it, that for the most part, I'm sure there's some rare operating systems out there that people don't generally use. Um, so it's really easy to make forms and submit them. And with HTML5 and JavaScript, uh, you can make full applications. Uh, and to give an example, you know, I do use Google Docs, I've mentioned that in the past, and you can frown upon me on that, I agree with you, it's probably not the best idea, because uh, it is closed source, um, but uh, I do, I am sure to back up all my data from there periodically, so if for some reason I don't like what they're doing, I still have all my information, I still have that portion of the freedom, and there are open source office tools out there. Um, and last I checked, I wasn't as pleased with them as I am with Google Docs. Um, but as those develop more, I might switch over to them. Uh, one in mind was one I played with a couple of years ago, so it may have improved a lot, or it might be a dead project now, I don't know. It's called iOS, E-Y-E-O-S. Uh, it's an open source cloud desktop, uh, and it actually gives you a desktop feel inside your browser, has applications. Um, it's a little slow loading the applications, but like if you were to open up the word processor, once it's loaded, from I remember, it ran pretty smoothly. The uh, uh, thing I didn't like about that was they were trying to do a full desktop environment inside the browser, which I wasn't a big fan of. I think you should focus on different applications, such as like Google has their word processor, and they have their spreadsheet, and they have their presenter. Um, I think that's more efficient than trying to put a whole desktop inside the browser, but that's more of an opinion than, than technical. Um, 
But yeah, cloud computing is great as long as you're in control of your data and and the software you're using is open source. And whether you're running it on a server that you're renting out, or if you're just going to buy something like a pogo plug, you know, pogo plug is not going to be good if you have a whole bunch of people uh, working off of it because it's just a small little ARM processor. But like for me, I SSH and tunnel through that all the time. As I said, I have some stuff that I've written uh, running on a, a HTTP uh, with Apache on it. And I couldn't live without it now. I like the fact that I can so easily back up all my stuff, just, just backing up the files locally. Um, I don't have to worry at any time if my hard drive was to die on my desktop or my laptop was stolen. I'd have to worry about my personal information on that because I don't encrypt everything like I should be. Um, but I'm not losing anything because everything's backed up to there. I also take... Uh, all my pictures and videos and anything like that that's not super private stuff, uh, but stuff that's hard to replace, uh, family photos and stuff like that. And I actually back all those up to uh, different services online. So I have my local backup on the hard drive on the Pogo plug, which I back up to CDs, DVDs, or Blu-rays at times, put them in my fireproof safe. But if my house is to burn down and the fireproof safe didn't save those things. I want to not lose that stuff. Um, so, so like I've been going through all my old tapes. I have probably over 50 tapes with hours on each one that I'm backing up. And I'm actually, I actually have multiple YouTube accounts and account at Daily Motion, and I make at least three backups online of all my pictures, videos. I back them up to the Pogo plug and then every once in a while back that up to uh, disks. So backups are really important and cloud computing does make that easier. Uh, once again, just don't give up uh, you know, the power to control your own data. Um, and that's my views on cloud computing. I think it's a great thing. I know some people don't like it, but I think they're viewing it from a, you're giving someone else the power where it's actually really easy uh, to get the power yourself. Uh, real cheap to buy the hardware or rent hardware somewhere and I, I really really hope that I see more open source uh, developers developing cloud programs. I would love to see LibreOffice or OpenOffice um, start working on a really powerful uh, web version that I can install on my server uh, running something like Apache and maybe a MySQL uh, database in the background and and then I can have all my stuff stored locally, but I can access it anywhere from my phone, laptop, desktop, tablet, whatever. So as far as I'm concerned, when done properly, cloud computing is just like any other software. Do it right. It's a great thing. And I do think it's going to make life a lot easier. And I, uh, another thing is um, cell phones and tablets. I don't like having anything I don't need installed on them. Um, I I don't I don't trust the app stores on on Android or I mean there's a few applications I've installed uh, like uh, I use the hacker's keyboard because I need a full keyboard but I don't install anything from the uh, Google Play Store unless it's been around for a long time and it has a lot of users because hopefully at that point if it's been around for a long time if there's anything wrong with it, people know about it but if it's if it's not open and I don't trust uh, it, I, it takes a lot for me to trust it. So, um, once again, that's how I feel about cloud computing. I'd love to hear your thoughts on cloud computing below. Obviously, cloud computing is probably not the best for, um, you know, real powerful math mathematical solutions, unless you're running, um, like, a C application on the server and then getting the output through the web interface, which is another good thing. Um, so, really, as far as I'm concerned, cloud computing is just a new type of GUI for a desktop application that's running on your server. And uh, again, I think that's great. I think I've babbled on long enough. I thank you for watching. Please visit my website, filmswarechris.com. Chris with the K, there should be a link in the description. Have a great day.